good morning everyone happy thursday so i just woke up and of course as always i'm going to make an iced latte and then i'm gonna put some makeup on because i actually want to feel like a put together human today so that is the current plan all right so i put some makeup on and i've actually been making a few tiktoks in the beginning of quarantine i was posting multiple tiktoks a day and i was like yes this is it i'm going to be a tiktok star but now i've kind of realized that i'm probably not going to be a tiktok star <laughs> but they're still really fun to make so i'm about to make one showing some swimsuits that i recently got from revolve so i figured i would show you guys on the vlog as well because even though we're in quarantine i'm trying to be optimistic and i'm hoping that beaches will open soon for like tanning and hanging out and i also hope that later on in the summer we'll be able to go to beaches in groups and have pool parties so i still have some new bikinis that i'm really hoping i will get to wear and these ones are really cute so i figured i would show you guys okay so this is the first bikini and it might be my favorite out of all of them just because the material is so soft and i love the color and the design and everything as you can see it's just this neon green which i think is so fun for the summer especially when you have a bit of a tan and i love the high cut of the bottoms so yeah i really really love this one okay bikini number two i really really like the cut of this top you will see i got this in another color but this one has a really cool texture which i like and yeah i think it's pretty cute so this is the white version of that same green swimsuit i think it's really cute and looks great with a tan and i don't know if you'll be able to tell but the texture on this one is different it's more of a ribbed material and the other one is more of like a scrunchy textured fabric so i love this one as well okay and last but certainly not least is this one which i think is so cool and so unique so it's this little like almost crop top vibe crocheted top and then these high-waisted crochet bottoms and i don't think this would be the move necessarily for tanning but for like a little photo shoot or a pool party or something i thought this one was so so adorable and unique and i've never seen anything like it so yeah really really love this one and excited to wear it eventually <laughs> once again all of those bikinis are from revolve i definitely recommend checking out revolve if you are looking for swimsuits because they have such a wide variety and the quality is really good so i will put a link down below where you can find all of those swimsuits and now i think i might edit the vlog from the first half of the week so yeah that is my current plan this is my little outfit of the day it's a little bit wrinkly but this is also from revolve hi guys so i've been a little bit mia i talked to my parents on the phone for a while because i hadn't talked to them in like a week or so so i called them and talked to them and then i've just been editing a video on my computer and i just got a bowl of grapes i did have lunch but i just was eating leftovers from my fridge so i didn't really feel the need <laughs> to show that i also kind of want to go and watch the sunset at ucla because they have a really nice grassy patch that is really nice to sit and watch the sunset and it's a nice day out today i haven't been able to go outside yet so we will see how that lines up i just remembered that i have a call with one of my bosses at seven so i think i'm actually going to wait until tomorrow to go to ucla and watch the sunset so right now i'm just going to go on my little neighborhood walk so i can still get some sort of fresh air today and i'm hoping that i get to see a pug on my walk because sometimes i see some pugs because there are some neighborhood pugs and i just really want a pug guys this might be creepy of me but i always see this pug in the window and i love it oops so the boss that i'm supposed to talk on the phone with <laughs> texted me like 40 minutes ago and asked if she could call me so i figured she meant right then so i said yeah but it's like 6.50 now and she still hasn't called me. So I'm thinking maybe she was just confirming if she could call me at 7. But um, <laughs> I poured myself some wine because why not? So she didn't call me. But <laughs> it's fine. You know, I drank my wine. I was watching some YouTube videos. I'm guessing she'll just call me tomorrow. But in the meantime, I am going to make that Alfredo. I've showed this in vlogs before, but I'll show you guys again. 
My freezer is kind of a mess, so here's a little freezer tour. Taking up the majority of the space is this giant bottle of Tito's that has not seen the light of day of a bar night in a long time, which is really sad. Um, here is the Trader Joe's Fettuccine Alfredo. You know, not the healthiest. All you have to do is empty the contents into a pan and put a little bit of water in and then cover it and stir a little bit now and then and you have some good fettuccine alfredo. Sometimes I will add vegetables, but tonight I just added a bunch of black pepper because I love pepper and this is pretty much what it looks like. I've been binge watching room transformations. I've just been watching so many like apartment, room, any sort of room transformations because I'm so excited to decorate in my new place and I will be doing an apartment hunt video very soon as well as so many moving vlogs but I finished my wine and I was like I don't need more wine it's a Thursday but I'm also like I need more wine it's quarantine so I will be cracking open another bottle of the Yellowtail Sauvignon Blanc and what I love about these is they are twist off because homegirl is so bad at removing corks. It takes me like a hot minute. Happy Friday. I just made myself a whipped coffee. However, I am still pretty bad at actually whipping it and getting it thick before. So I actually did order like a hand frother mixer thing that should be coming today. So Hopefully that does arrive and then I can show you everything that I got in that order. But yeah, starting off with this and getting to work. I just took a little break from working to take a shower and wash my hair and I just feel so much better. Maybe if I'm feeling wild, I'll put some makeup on, but we will see about that. So I'm starving, so I'm taking another little work break to make some lunch. This is the HelloFresh recipe. Once again, I'm not actually using the HelloFresh box, but I bought all of the ingredients. So I'm gonna remake this. And these are literally so, so, so good. So I definitely recommend and they're pretty easy to make. This is how the filling is looking and I'm just cooking this up a little bit before I put it into the tortilla shells. Okay, this is what the enchiladas are looking like before I put them in the oven. And here is the finished product. I think I might put a little bit of sour cream on top when I eat them, but yeah, I feel like they look pretty good. Okay guys, it's a little while later. I managed to do my makeup, so go me. But I just got this package in the mail from YesStyle. I have mentioned them in a bunch of videos, but basically they send me stuff every month, which is so nice of them. And I figured I would unbox at least some of it in this video and show you guys a few of the pieces. So let's do it. Okay, the lighting keeps changing, but hopefully it's fine. The first thing I see on top when I open it, I'm so excited about it, was what I was talking about earlier. It's one of those little milk frother things but personally i'm going to be using this for my whipped coffee because i already have a milk frother but it's one of the ones that comes with the nespresso so it's not one of the handheld ones like this and i didn't want to like pour my whipped coffee into that oh my gosh okay next thing i'm actually so excited about it is a face mask because i pretty much only have one face mask i did diy one the other night but it's not like that great so I saw this really pretty baby pink one. I'm gonna open it. Ah, this is so cute. This is literally the same color as my couch. I got this huge variety pack of sewing threads because it had so many colors in it. And as you guys might know, I've been trying to get into sewing lately. This is such like a, you know you're getting old when you're excited about this kind of thing. But these are rubber gloves that have like, let me open it. They have this on the palms, so when you're doing your dishes, you can kind of scrub with your hand. I get all of my eyeliners from YesStyle, all the liquid eyeliners, because I feel like theirs are really good. And I just got this random one that I can't really pronounce anything on. Majolica Majorca, and this is such a throwback, but I used to watch Ingrid Nilsson's videos religiously when I was younger, and I feel like she talked about this. It was either her or Michelle Fawn. Okay, this is a purse that I was really excited about because it looked so cute. And I'm very interested to see what it looks like. So it looks like this, but the reason I got it is because it 
is supposed to have this chain okay yes it has this little chain that attaches to it and i just thought it was so unique guys look how cute this is i already have this sweatshirt in a purple color and i got it in two more colors because i loved it so much it's almost like a french terry material but i just got it in this little light yellow color it has like really big billowy sleeves and then i also got it in this baby blue color and last but certainly not least i know you guys are going to be like tasha what the heck are you a traitor but they had a ucla sweatshirt and if you guys don't know i went to usc and ucla is usc's biggest rival but they didn't have a usc sweatshirt and i just thought this sweatshirt was so cute and i have been going to ucla a lot to either tan or just watch the sunset i think i'm going there tonight so i thought it wasn't horrible to buy it's just this like yellowy green almost and it just says ucla with the bear on the front but the part that was so cute is on the back it's backwards and it has a little butt so yeah i know i'm a trader but i thought this was too cute to pass up hi guys so i just finished up with work for the day and in a few minutes I'm going to get ready and change to go watch the sunset at UCLA and I just wanted to be 100% transparent with you guys. I am meeting one of my friends there who I have not seen literally since quarantine started but we're gonna keep our distance. <laughs> we're gonna sit with a distance between ourselves obviously and we will have masks but I personally think that it's safe for me to go outside and see friends outside if we're keeping a distance and i'm not saying that it's totally okay to go hang out with a bunch of friends and do all the normal things but i think if you want to go on a walk with a friend or a hike with a friend or you know just sit out and have a picnic with a friend i think it's fine if you guys are keeping your distance and not like touching or anything like that so yeah i just wanted to be transparent about that i'm not like trying to hide anything but yeah i will update you guys when i go there and I think I might wear my new UCLA sweatshirt. I have been back now from UCLA for a while, but I've just been trying to digest because after my friend and I watched the sunset, I went to Diddy Reese, which if you guys no, I don't know if they're a chain, but they have one by UCLA and it's basically like ice cream cookie sandwiches and I got one and I like inhaled it. I forgot to film it, but I feel so full and bloated right now. So I've just been like laying in bed. Okay, I don't know how it became 1 a.m. I was doing some editing for a video and then I got sucked into the whole Call Her Daddy drama. <laughs> I listened to Call Her Daddy and I've been keeping up with the drama. But Alex just posted the YouTube video so I was watching that. If you guys don't listen to Call Her Daddy and know about all the drama then you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> I was doing that and now I think I'm going to try and go to bed. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. Let me know if you like me splitting my weekly vlogs into two vlogs instead of one i probably won't do this every single week but we will see i'll see how you guys liked it oh my gosh also my light has been flickering i might die but anyways thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video bye